Hi guys, welcome to the studio. I am out at the Platwoods location. So this is the first time doing a live video from the new place. So I'm over here um, and I've got my boring white background going on because we're actually set up to film for talent team tonight. So it worked out pretty well because I got my light and I got my cameras and I forgot my mic cord so I can't even plug in. Um, but that's okay. Hopefully you can hear me okay. If you're showing up and you cannot hear me, please, please put something in the comments because I need to know that so I can figure something else out. It's a big room and I know there's probably a horrible echo. Um, I'll have to grab my mic for the, for the class tonight. So hopefully this works. We are just a tad bit early because I said that I would go live at two, but, um, you know, I was all set up and ready to go and excited. So I just, I thought we'd go for it. Thank you for tuning in. If you're catching the replay, um, you can make a comment in here, just write replay so that I know that you are here. Um, if you're here now and you wanna give me a wave or a heart, then I will know that you are here. Um, and if you just wanna lurk in the background, I am okay with that as well. So my name is Allison Jensen, if you don't know me, and I am the owner of Warren Jesel School of Art. We are a children's art studio based in Liberty, Missouri, and we just opened our second location here in the Flatwoods area. Hi, Whitney. I'm so glad you're here. And so we do kids art. Anywhere from the, the preschool itty bitties up until the high school, we're really focused in on art education and making sure that art is relevant to the artist, that it is taught in an age appropriate manner, and that we're really growing artists, not just craft, right? And there's nothing wrong with craft, but there's something to be said for being an artist. So we want to take those kids that love visual arts, that love making things, and give them a place. So we launched in August. Some of you know this, just give a little background. We launched in August with our grade school program because what we started to hear was that maybe people in the metro area lived too far away to be able to drive to Orange Easel every week for classes. Or, um, or maybe you live you know, in my hometown of Bloomington, Illinois, and you're like, I want an Orange Easel there. And you know, to be honest, we're not going to Illinois anytime soon. So maybe eventually, but not right now. And so we, we said we really have to get online. We have to get into the web space so that we can, we can reach those third graders that love art but don't live anywhere that's doing what we're doing. So, so we started in, in August filming our classes. And so we bring in, I'm all set up, I've got four stools around me and I bring in um, Orange Easel artists who've been taking classes with us for a long time and they sit here and I teach and they take their little class and we film everything and we talk we talk to the camera, we talk to each other, and then what it's designed to do is that your second grader, third grader, sixth grader, whoever it is, is sitting at their kitchen table with their supplies and doing the exact same thing. So we launched that, and we're actually filming tonight the first of November classes. Um, it's been really successful. We're having a good time, and it makes me feel like I'm really on the ball when we are filming November classes in September. I mean, that's pretty awesome for me, because us creatives, sometimes we do things pretty last minute. But anyways, so we started that, but we don't have a preschool counterpart. We've got the big kids and they are, they're rocking and I feel good about the system we've got. Thank goodness Miss Grace loves to edit videos because she edits, I just film. But we don't have a counterpart for all of our wonderful preschoolers. And I would say half of our studio is five and below. We have a huge base of those creative makers and messy players, hi Emily. And we need to serve them as well. Um, and it is a challenge to try to figure out how do you take what we do in the studio? Because we do our fundamentals classes and I think we do them pretty awesome. We do those 90 minute classes, but how do you take that and do you put it into the home environment? Or maybe you run an in-home daycare, or maybe you teach preschool and you don't have necessarily as much control over your environment and the mess in the environment. Maybe there's not quite the tolerance for the mess in the environment. How do we take this program that we teach and show you how to do it where you are? So my little brain has been working and I think I have a ton of things kind of fleshed out, but I need a focus group. I need some people to help me because one of the things when this is what you do and it goes for anything, not just art, right? But this is what I do all day long. Like I'm with kids and art and messes and I don't know what you don't know. I don't know what your obstacles are because I've been doing this for six years. So I don't always remember what it was like to start doing it or, um, or the information that I got along the way that I need to make sure I pass on to you to shorten that learning curve. So 
So I need a focus group to help me launch this preschool program. So we're going to talk here about, um, we're hoping to launch in January, and we're going to talk in this live video, not only what does this program kind of start to look like, and that could change, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek at that, but then also how you can be involved, like starting tomorrow, so you can help me out. And then you get something for that too. Okay, so let's talk about that. I, I wrote down notes. If you see me glancing down, it's because I wrote down notes, because I get really excited about things like this, and then I lose my way. And can I just say, like, the rain is not doing real good for the hair. So it's going to be up in a bun. Like, if I wasn't filming tonight, that's where it would be. All right. So here's what we got. Preschool program. That's what we're going to talk about. Here's what I see it including. It's going to include a supply box that gets mailed to you every month. So if you've seen our little, like, Black Friday boxes or the boxes that we create for our adult programs, it's like a little cardboard. It looks just like a subscription box, right? So if you get, get Stitch Fix or you get Kiwi Crate or – so it'll be a box that will come to your door and have art supplies in it and probably some literature, but mostly art supplies because why waste packaging? We can send the other stuff digitally. All right? So we get you a little box, it's, and it's going to have all your supplies. And then it's also going to have access to online videos. So similar to what, like, we're doing here, right, similar to this, where they go into the website and there's a private part of our website you have to actually log into, um, then they access their class videos. So we're going to have a class video. So you can tune in and you can watch your class. Now the question is, does that have Orangey's little, little Artist in it as well, or is it just me? I mean, I'm pretty fun, but I feel like you might want to watch the kids and you might want to actually see it in action. Those are things that we're going we're gonna to kind of address, right? So we got to get you videos. we got to get you teacher training. Teacher training. Because with the big kid classes, your little second grader, she logs on to her iPad, pops it up, and, and takes her art class, right? When I say, get out your charcoal, she's got her charcoal and she gets it out. And when I say, hey, it's time to clean up from that clay, here are the steps that I need you to do, and everyone in my class cleans up, and then your little third grader at home is also cleaning up, we assume that they will do it. But I really doubt that your three-year-olds will. So, those preschoolers are going to need a teacher. They're going to need a facilitator. They're going to need to be in the orange easel role, and that's going to be you. You, the parent. You, the preschool teacher. You, the grandparent. Whoever's going to be helping to facilitate their little art lesson. And so we have to provide teacher training because one thing I've learned with having parents in our classes is not everybody is okay with the way we run things. And we have to kind of reprogram because we're used to hearing our, maybe our teachers in the past or our parents in the past, and we hear them come out our mouth and we say, stop that, or don't mix the colors, or um, you're ruining the brush, right? And so we're going to provide some teacher training as well for each of the weekly lessons. And we're going to talk about maybe some of the, some of the pitfalls, maybe some of the ways that, and the tricks that you can do to kind of keep them engaged. I did see on when we posted our question about like, what keeps you from doing art at home? A lot of people said that they didn't feel like the effort that went into setting up the activity was worth the amount of time that the kids spent making it. So I want to address that in our teaching training and, and talk through that issue. Maybe give you some ways to make it last longer. Maybe we can give you some ways to make the setup go shorter so that you don't have to spend all afternoon setting and cleaning and they spent five seconds on your wonderful, I'm sure, art activity that you set up, okay? So we'll provide some teacher training. We're also going to make sure we give you our best tips and tricks because we have learned a lot, okay? So we'll give you our best tips and tricks um, for controlling the mess, for um, helping to take care of your supplies. I mean, how do you make sure that they don't smash your brush that, you know, it's a beautiful watercolor brush, but how do you make sure they don't take it and grind it under the paper without killing their little spirits? So we'll teach you that, okay? Um, then we also, so that's the teacher training, and then we also want to get a private Facebook group. So I, I, I anticipate that once everybody is into the subscription box and they're getting their kits, well, as soon as you subscribe, you go into a private group with us, um, and that's where we will post, um, hopefully some bonus content, and, and I'll get back to that in just a second, but also a direct line access to me in case you're like, help, it didn't work the way I thought it was going to work. 
and I can help with that. Um, maybe we'll do some live videos and do some Q and A's if you if you want to talk through that. Um, the bonus material. Here's my thing. Like, it's a twenty-seven dollar. I think is what I put. I think that's what price point we're thinking of. Like a twenty-seven dollar monthly subscription. So we're not talking a lot for all the supplies and, and everything. I think 27 is what I went with. That could change. I haven't looked at shipping, you guys. I just pulled numbers out. Um, really, it comes down to shipping. I don't know what shipping's going to be. Anyways, don't quote me on that. But that's the price that's in my brain. So we kind of want to stick with that. That's what the big kids are paying, so I'd like to keep it kind of the same. I don't know. Anyways. But you'll get your one box, and you'll get your training videos, and you'll get your class lesson, and then you'll get, like, what do you do with the box if, you know, like, you want to do more stuff with it? Because you got these supplies. You might as well use it. Um, but I also want to do some bonus stuff with you in the Facebook group. Just informal, like, here's something else you can do with it. But I want to avoid the overwhelm. Because I feel like, you know, there's only so many hours in the day, and there's only so many good days in a month. So if I give you, like... Just like the big kids, I give you four hour long lessons. I feel like people could get real overwhelmed and feel like they're behind if they didn't get through four of them in the month. And let's be real, like most of our three year olds and four year olds are fine. If you set up the same activity for five days in a row, like the only one that's bored is us. We're we're good. I mean, so the the kids, they can just delve deeper or broader or you know, find new ways to to explore it. We're the ones that are that feel like we need to do more. Um so anyway, so those are my, that's the wheels, right? That's where, that's where my brain is at. Now where it goes from there, who knows? I'm going to need your help. So, so that's what we're envisioning. Here's what I need from you, okay? To work through all of these ideas. Number one, starting tomorrow, I'm going to create a private, no, public, but closed Facebook group for anyone that wants to just jump on and see what this is all about. Okay, it'll be tied to the Orange Easel Facebook page, and I will share it in the comments of this video. Cool? So if you comment on the video, like, interested, I think the way Facebook works is that when I post a comment tomorrow that says, here's the group, you should get a notification. That's how it works in my Facebook page. I hope that's how it works in yours. Okay? If for some reason a week goes by and you're like, huh, I wonder if Allison never did that. Chances are I did. Sometimes I didn't, but chances are I did. Um, you can send me a message. Okie doke. So tomorrow I'm going to get a group up and it's going to be like, join here. You have absolutely no strings attached if you join. Okay. Just let me know that you're interested. Okay. In that group starting tomorrow and for the rest of this month, um, I'm going to post some questions as things pop in my brain. And all I'm doing is crowdsourcing. All I'm doing, it's very similar to the one I posted before. Like what's your biggest obstacle? Okay. As I start to feel out this process, I just want to know, like, where people's brain is at, okay? And the nice thing about it is I have a wonderful focus group in all of you people, okay? And then the next step from that group is we will pull some people to start testing some kits. So as I start to put kits together, they're not going to be beautifully polished. They're probably not going to be in a pretty box, but I will send them to you, okay? And then the videos will probably not be all pretty on a website, but I'll get them to you. And we will test this stuff out, okay? So I will pull people from that group. So if you're interested in being one of those first kind of early adopters that will give me a ton of feedback, maybe even like a phone call or a Zoom session so I can get some ideas here because I want this to work, you guys. And I'm one of those people that I didn't care if there was paint on my dining room floor. So I know I need your help, okay? So here's what I need. I need early people from that group who want to test out the kit. So be in the group if you want that. And then the next step, once I've had, you know, a half dozen people, dozen people testing out the kits, from that group, we will pull a beta launch. Okay. If you are in that group, and that'll probably be like November, okay? So that's where we'll pull the full beta launch. Again, it may not be pretty packaged yet. It may not be as, like, perfect. Emily? Okay. Emily says, so fun, bring on the mess. Here's the deal. I think, Emily, and we'll find out more. I think we may need two versions of this. Like, I really do. Because some of you guys are like, you're here because you love it and you want the mess and you just need, like, the stuff and the ideas, and right? And then some of you are here because you're like, I need someone to show me how to do this without the mess. So we don't want to give the messy people, like, a kit that's, like, 
not meeting their expectations for like a really funny good time with lots of like great pictures right all right and then I, I don't want to give my people that don't want the mess the kit that's like oh my gosh that's too much right so we got to give like yes a messy media and a chill out box Emily see this is why we have people to help me with this okay so we may find in our focus group that we need two boxes alrighty and you can subscribe to either one we're gonna figure all of that out right all right so so we'll get this and then in a beta launch in November everybody in the group will be invited to join in on that and we'll test it out November December we'll test out that beta launch I'll be looking for tutorials I'll be looking for pictures I'll be looking for video because we will need to include it in the marketing materials that when we launch in January hopefully we can and I am even looking into like some sort of affiliate program so that way if you're like this is flipping awesome and you get your friends to join you get a reward for that so we're looking into some sort of affiliate so that way it benefits you as well as us cool give them a tarp yes Abby that's what I'm thinking too like you almost need like a starter kit right so maybe you get your starter kit before you get your first subscription box Bonnie says she's okay with a little mess. It is hard. See, and Bonnie, that's what that's what we need to figure out from people is like, you know, what does this look like? So I love your guys' feedback and you are awesome. I am so excited for this because I feel like it serves the need. It does. And it simplifies things. And it it's just it, there's so many different ways that we can go with this, but I'm gonna need your help because everybody's different. We wanna make sure that we get what every individual family needs all right and, and it may be multiple theme boxes maybe we need one that like focuses on fine motor development or one that focuses specifically on you know those kids that have problems with um sensory materials and we can create training videos for that to deal with that because that is a challenge for it's an obstacle to enjoying art if they they can't handle putting their hands in stuff so how do we how do we go around that obstacle and eventually, hopefully, overcome it? So, so these are the types of things that, that I want to make sure that we are addressing in our subscription program. And I'm so excited that you guys are interested in helping. If you are just jumping on, you're getting to the very tail end of this video. So, yes, you'll need to go back and get that replay so that you get it from the beginning. But tomorrow, definitely tomorrow, Tomorrow, you're going to want to join our private Facebook group so we can get all of these ideas into one place and start putting this thing together. Pretty cool? I'm excited. All right. I got to go because I got kids getting done with school. And, of course, I am nowhere near my house. This is new to me, you guys. I live right down the street from the, li the, like, the Liberty Studio. So I'm like 30 minutes away. So weird. I'm going to need a new car soon. Somebody tell me what kind of car I should get gotta have an orange diesel logo on it I know that all right my brain is wandering it's time to go look for that link and you guys have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday okay